Hey guys, Ballpark Cannon here, and welcome back to our war campaign in From the Depths, where we are going to conquer the Netter. Now, we're getting attacked almost right after we finish construction on our fortress. Uh, the Deepwater Guard really wants this thing back, so let's fend these guys off and continue construction on our battle cruiser. This guy over here is actually really hitting our fortress. And now that I think about it, I probably should have moved it back behind our ships so it would be protected and we wouldn't have to rebuild it, but it's probably going to be destroyed. And that's fine because it's really light on resources, so we can just rebuild it. Yeah, it looks like our fortress is just a distraction right now, which is a good thing. Uh, so we can just hit this guy with missiles without he taking any damage ourselves. Then we just took out his paddle right there. Nice. Yeah, this one. Yep, turn it down. Nice. And this guy won't be a problem anymore. Let's go over here and target one of these guys. So he was causing a problem. And this guy. Okay, yeah. Let's target him. And hopefully our missiles can take him out pretty quickly. Well, it looks like he's just spinning out. Yeah, and then this guy right here. Oh, yeah, he just destroyed our fortress with his missiles. Okay, let's take, let's just end him. And this one should do the trick, hopefully. Nope, he's still coming at us. And firing his missiles. Oh, nice, okay. There goes his ammo. So hopefully won't be able to fire missiles. Okay, well I guess he can still fire missiles. Hopefully one of our ships can take him out. I'm just gonna take control of this laser and then clean these guys up. Because it doesn't seem like our ships are doing anything. Really, <laughs> they're missing a lot. Okay, nice. Took him out mostly. And I'm just gonna clean these guys up and we'll be right back with our new cruiser. So here it is, our brand new cruiser. It has a max speed of 14 meters a second and is lightly armored with three high gauge guns mounted on a 180 degree turret. The guns have a reload time of 0.5 seconds and an accuracy of 0.5 with an effective range of one kilometer or 1,093 yards. This makes this ship highly effective at medium to long range engagements. So what we're going to do now is push into Deepwater Guard territory and try to take as much of it as we can with our new ship and larger fleet. So we've just came across an enemy ship and this is perfect because we get to test our new cruiser. Now we've been able to immediately tick off the nose of that ship with our little missile boats. Let's actually put everybody in combat so they'll move up. Looks like our new cruiser's in range, dealing some really good hits there. Actually, I don't know why he stopped firing, but looks like we got more missiles incoming. A lot of damage. This thing can barely fly. It actually looks like our cruiser's turrets messed up for some reason. Oh, that's because I'm controlling it. <laughs> uh, that's why. Okay, let's take it off combat, and I'm actually gonna take control of cruiser turret and see 
if I can get really good. Oh, I just took out our rudder and propellers. I, oh, yep, those are perfect hits. Oh, it's actually tipping a lot. There's a lot of recoil. I'm gonna have to add recoil suppressor barrels onto this. Try to angle it. I don't want to shoot my own ship, which is a downfall of this because it's in close range. Just turn everybody off and just let it die. Okay, perfect. Now that's that battle finished, and we saw some minor flaws with our battle cruiser, which is close range, and there's something stuck under the turret. So let's see what that is. And it's the AI. Uh, the weapons controller so we're gonna delete that and then gonna push up further into this little river and hopefully we can take out the deep water guard at their main fortress so we've pushed up a little bit further into deep water guard territory and we ran into a place where the enemy kinda has us in between these rocks and them so it's going to be hard to get shots on them so i'm going to try to position my ships to where we can take them out at range and not put ourselves at risk okay here we go turn everyone on combat or just on an ai's on and see this is where the battle cruiser excels at range because it can put so many high gauge rounds at the enemy. It looks like our missiles got some pretty good hits on that airship. But for some reason our cruiser isn't targeting it. We'll target again. Nope. Okay, let me take control of myself. Oh, he's tearing apart our turret. We're getting some good hits on him, though. Oh. Oh, he's getting destroyed. I don't even know how he's still flying. So every single one of these has been a direct hit. Okay, he's going down now. Jeez. And ammo gone. Okay, he's dead. Perfect. Well, that was... Okay, we got our turret back up and got repaired. So yeah, that was really close. I don't know how he was able to get so close. And, or why our battle cruiser isn't targeting the airships. Even though I said target it, but whatever. I guess it's probably best because then he can take out the cruiser can take out the little ships and our missiles can take down the airships. Oh, this is the same one we just fought a couple of minutes ago. Same airship. So hopefully we can take him down as fast as we did the other one. This one did some damage. I might have to hop back on the battleship gun, or the cruiser gun, to take this guy down. Cruiser still okay. There we go. The cruiser's starting to fire on him. Yeah, he's done. Goodbye, airship. Oh no, he's gonna have his last couple missiles off. Okay, he's going down. Oh gee, well he just 
blew our turret off with his last two missiles. Okay, I'm gonna swim out to him. And get some revenge. Okay. Blow. Let me destroy his missile pods. Let's jump up here. Take out the engine. Where's the AI? Is it down here? AI. No. Oh, is that it? Yep. There's the AI. Okay, let's take the AI out. Okay, jeez. Now let's get back to our battle cruiser and fix the turret and scrap this ship. And then probably going to turn our cruiser, make it turn it into a missile cruiser. So it has it's more effective or just it'll have an extra ship. We'll have an extra ship to support our fleet and we're desperate need of upgraded missile ships because these little missile boats aren't really cutting it as you saw so we'll do that and we'll be right back and here's our missile cruiser so what I did was basically just took off the uh, gun on the battle cruiser and replaced it with eight cruise missiles and then with a smaller close range, uh, high fire rate cannon on the front. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to scrap the rest of our fleet, which is just a battle cruiser and those three little support boats. And then I'm going to build two more of these, and then we're going to continue our campaign against the Deepwater Guard. So we've just came in contact with our second Deepwater Guard Fortress, which is a little bit more fortified and armored than the last one. And what we're going to do is place our missile cruisers way back here and just pelt it with missiles. Looks awesome. These missiles actually have a really far range, which I wasn't really expecting it to be this far, but yeah, see this fortress stands no chance. Oh, it actually has a missile defense system, which could be a pro- no, <laughs> I was going to say it could be a problem, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be. doesn't seem to be able to take out the missiles fast enough. This thing is just getting hammered. Hopefully one of those missiles actually hits the anti-missile laser right there. Taking out all of its guns. What it looks like. Oh! And yep, its laser's down. Okay, this thing is just getting like rocket artillery. So that is awesome. We just destroyed the Deep Water Guard's second fortress and now we're going to push on to their final fortress which is going to be a very hard fight because number one it has a lot more armor and it's bigger and number two it's going to have way more guns than this one had. So now what we're going to do is set up a mining rig at this resource zone and then we're going to push down this river into the Deepwater Guard's final fortress. While our fleet was going down this river we actually found what looks to be a construction site or factory for their airships, for the Deepwater Guard's airships. And it's on land too, so this is going to be a pretty interesting fight. Hopefully our missiles actually be able to hit it because it. I might actually have to just hop off our ship 
and go inland and see if I can destroy it myself. Okay, so here's the construction yard. And it doesn't look like it has any defenses or anything. It's actually pretty cool. It's just an outpost. Looks like it was abandoned. Maybe the deep water guard got word that we we're coming down here and their leaders abandoned it. Looks like they took a lot of weapons and ammo from here. Yeah, it is empty. This looks like a meeting room. Yeah, we definitely need to capture this. Maybe we could get some good intel on the enemy ships and movements in the area. Okay, so I've gotten off the ship and now I'm heading up towards uh, this construction yard. But what I want to do is just destroy these two little conference rooms uh, and then keep the main construction yard uh, because we can take plans that were left here by the enemy and possibly build ships from them. Especially since this is kind of a skeleton of what looks like one of their new generation airships that will be very useful in we can either copy it or learning how to defeat it. Okay, so I'm going to blow up this last conference room and then we're going to move on, keep pushing down to the final Deepwater Guard Fortress and take it out. But that'll be in a future episode. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of Warpath.